No man ever steps in the same river twice, for it's not the same river and he's not the same man. From this phrase, we can understand Heraclitus' concept of everlasting flux or flow and change in the universe, his unique way of describing life. Heraclitus was born around 535 BC in the ancient Greek city of Ephesus into a wealthy and aristocratic family, but he chose to leave this privilege and lived a life that, according to some accounts, was solitary. The only work attributed to Heraclitus, typically referred to as On Nature, exists only in fragments quoted by later authors. If the entirety of his writings had survived, perhaps we would have a clearer understanding of his philosophy and wouldn't have to rely solely on these challenging excerpts. Yet, even thinkers such as Aristotle, who critiqued Heraclitus's ideas, found his work to be profound and at times complex. Diogenes Laertius, the biographer of the Greek philosophers, said that Heraclitus purposefully made his work difficult to understand. The ancient Greek philosopher believed in the unity of opposites, such as good and evil, sad and happy, deep and shallow. He claimed that there is a connection between them and that they define each other. He proposed that opposites are necessary for life and that they always give way to each other in a harmonious cycle and that the universe is a system of balanced exchanges. A change in one direction is balanced by a change in another. Recognizing that Thales, the pre-Socratic philosopher who lived before Heraclitus, stated that water is the primary substance of all things, Heraclitus proposed an alternative principle. He identified fire as the fundamental essence of the universe, not in a strictly material sense like Thales' water. Fire, for Heraclitus, represented constant change and transformation. Fire symbolizes the process of creation and destruction, shaping his famous doctrine that everything flows. This brings us to Heraclitus's Logos. In ancient Greek, Logos carries meanings of word, reason, principle, and logic. For Heraclitus, it denoted the rational principle that governs the universe. While he did not explicitly describe it as a divine force, it is a concept that brings order to the cosmos. Heraclitus stated that most people fail to understand or acknowledge the Logos, even though it's evident in the world around them. He believed that people live in a state of ignorance about the fundamental order and reason of the universe. Heraclitus' ideas about change and the unity of opposites have resonated through Western philosophy, impacting future thinkers and philosophers. His enigmatic style and profound insights into the nature of reality continue to challenge scholars and even those with a casual interest in philosophy.